Oh, I hear somebody. I hear somebody. There they are. Hey, girls. Let me get my shoes on. We're doing more chicken snacks today, and I would like to teach you guys um, just really quick, cheap. It's going to be kind of anticlimactic, sorry. But what we do to help our girls replenish their calcium. I'm Sarah, the real simple mama. That's a Ziploc, sorry. And these are my three girls. Calypso. She's a black sex link. This is Goldie or Lollipop. She's a gold sex link. And then this is Dottie. She is a silver laced wine dote. These are my three girls. Come on. Snack time. Come on. We have the running of the chickens. That's Aini, our corgi. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. And here's their coop set up. If you haven't already seen my other videos, you can see the review of the, this is the Innovation Pet Coop Kit. And then I also have another video that's about chicken hacks. Whoa, hold on there, girl. All right. So this is their little hideout where they like to roost and play. And I apologize for the horrible job of the camera here. I give them an extra tray with water. And then this is leftover McDonald's apples that the girls are gonna get. Come here. I give them some kind of fresh fruit or vegetable every day. And I put it here in the tray so anything that they don't eat, it's easy for me to throw it out. Whether it's watermelon rinds or there's a couple of pieces of peaches from yesterday. Um, that'll help keep the flies away if you can do that. So they're gonna chill with their apple. Now what I wanted to show you is this very simple bag and this is eggshells from the girls now they don't realize that these are from their own eggs because I crush them up before I bring them outside but essentially after we eat some eggs and it doesn't have to be your fresh chicken eggs it can actually be eggs that are from the store the ones that are pasteurized and have been washed and have to be refrigerated and all that but essentially you want to let them air dry until the the rest of the egg white and the membrane and stuff in there everything is dry um, and then I actually reuse this Ziploc because I'm cheap and I don't want to have to use a new Ziploc every time. But then I put the, the shells that have, once they're dry, remember, let them air dry first. Then I'm going to put them in here and I crush them up, not into a powder, um, but to the, where the pieces are fairly small. And the food that you buy for your laying girls, a layer feed, whether it's the crumble or it's the pellets or whatever it is that you give your girls, um, that has a higher amount of calcium in it. Because just like with any egg laying or um, you know live birth giving mammal, the body's going to take care of the egg or the baby first. So if my girls don't have enough calcium in their system, it's still going to make the eggs, but it'll start taking calcium away from their bones, and that's not good. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a little tray that I have inside that, of course, they stepped on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this in there, separate from their food. And that way they can pick out what they need. It's funny. It's like they know exactly what it is and what it's for. So their body will tell them, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm a little low on calcium. I need a bit more. And then they can come and get it as they see fit. And as you can tell, we are just in a normal neighborhood. Our neighbor's right there. Whoop. Neighbor's there on the other side. And as you can guess, we have young children. So my girls are hanging out. So what we're going to do is just pour some of this in there. Um, I'll be honest. Even though that little tray is ceramic and I do put it up here so it's not at ground level, my girls still do occasionally step on it. So I'm not going to put all of this in there because chances are they're going to flip it over and someone's going to get wasted. But I do have it here close to their food. They can get it even once they're locked up for the night because it's within the coop, within the run of the coop. Um, I did actually used to mix it in with their food. I'd mix these eggshells in. But um, I, as I did more research and reading, you know, once my girls started laying, they only started laying about two months ago. Um, the more I read about it, the more it seemed like everybody keeps the calcium separate. I know if you don't want to do this or if you feel like, you know what, I'm, I'm cracking my girls' eggs to eat the eggs and their shells seem really thin, they break easily, or they're breaking when the girls are sitting on them, um, then you might want to go buy some oyster shell. You can buy crushed up oyster shell um, at any of your feed stores where you get your layer feed. Girls, come here, girls. Chick, 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 chick. Lolly bird. Hey, pretty girl. 
Um, so if you feel like this isn't going to be sufficient or maybe you have a ton of chickens and you just can't keep up or whatever the case may be, you might need to buy, uh, again, it's just crushed oyster shell and that's literally what it is. It's a shell from another animal and they crush it up and give it to your chickens. Now what you don't want to do, uh, my kids and I used to volunteer at a farm and they would get some eggs from the chickens or, you know, I'm picking it up and putting them in the bucket and one got cracked or I dropped one. They would just leave the whole egg. Now while the chickens can eat all of that, the yolk and, and the white and the membrane and everything that's in there, it'll make your chickens kind of turn cannibalistic because basically you don't want them to figure out that they can eat their own eggs because then you'll never get any eggs they'll eat them all so that's why I crush up the shells before I bring them out here and I want my girls to be smart enough that they figure out hey wait a minute I'm eating my own eggs why am I letting the people take these eggs I'm just gonna eat them myself so I do crush them up before I bring them out here just so they never make the connection just in case but this is a cheap way for you to avoid buying oyster shell. Um, I've mentioned it in other videos too, but I, I don't buy grit for them because my girls get to free range for 12, 13, 14 hours a day. So I don't buy a separate chick grit or chicken grit, which is sort of like, like hard pellets um, and little, hey, daddy girl, little hard pieces of things. She's attacking the Ziploc. That, um, that help them break the food down in their crop. Because remember, a chicken, and this is not gonna be very good, a chicken, when they eat something, it goes down into their crop, which is like a pocket on their breast bone, like right about where my finger was on Dottie. And it, that's where food basically sits and waits until it goes down into the stomach. So the crop is further up high, and then the stomach continues further down. The chickens do need grit, and they need to avoid eating anything that's really long, like hay or extremely long pieces of grass, because their crop can get impacted, which basically means it gets jammed up. It's kind of like when your disposal gets gross, and then your sink starts backing up, because you haven't run the disposal, and there's like junk in there. Um, so they do need some kind of grit, but in my experience with my girls, my chicks, they've been free ranging, you know, 12, 13, 14 hours a day. They find little pieces of gravel, um, little things like that, that they can eat as well plus the eggshells, plus their food that's available on demand 24 seven, plus, you know, all of the other stuff that I give. I throw mealworms in here to let them like go foraging and hunting. So she might be seeing some mealworms in there. And there's our compost bin over there. You can let your chickens into compost as well. I know I have at least one viewer, Florida girl. She lets her, her girls in her compost bin. We were actually given that one for free, but if I had more land and I didn't have to worry about the smell or neighbors or anything, then I would totally just have an open one and let my girls in that too. So, but anyway, the purpose of this video was to show you just a free way for you to give back to your chickens without you having to buy oyster shells and making sure that they have enough calcium in their system. And here's my happy fat birds. And I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama. You can see more chicken content on my YouTube channel or of course at realsimplemama.com. Bye everybody.